Alright everyone, on this video I'll be doing an unboxing of this Arctic Alpine M1 Passive CPU cooler which I purchased from Amazon for £8. But this covers the AMD AM1 range of CPUs. Now these are really low power CPUs. It's been annoying that I've not been able to get a passive cooler up until now because the fan on them is like really small. Unfortunately it's still needed. But due to the unique way that AMD seems to change their range of CPU bases with each release, and there's not actually been anything that covers the AM1 range. So looking at the front of the box first, you can see we've got a six year warranty, a picture of the CPU cooler, and some information about it, high passive CPU cooling performance, it allows completely fanless systems, pre-applied with MX2 thermal compound, excellent. We've got a list of what the package contains. Uh, more information about it, so we're expecting to achieve 49 degrees C, are we? What? But a stock cooler 4000 RPM would achieve 46 degrees C. So that's full loading on the Athlon 5350, but they're all about the same power anyway, despite the speed difference between the CPUs. So a maximum TDP of 40 watts, and dimensions there, so 77mm across by 70mm tall. Noise level zero. Oh, gee, there's a surprise. And the weight of it is 246 grams. So there it is. So that's actually quite a size. So underneath has got the thermal paste. That's the height of it. And yeah, that's quite a size, really. What have we got here? Oh look, we've got screw connectors! Oh, because the dreadful push-pin connectors that AM1 range has. I nearly bent a motherboard in two trying to connect that, so I wonder if I'm going to nearly bend it in two trying to disconnect it. So well, that should be interesting, shouldn't it? So we've got some instructions here. Oh look, just pull it up, of course! It comes off easy, doesn't it? I wonder if that's going to need a fake fan speed for the passive cooler. Not something I've come across yet. I'll have to see what uh, my motherboard does with it. So yeah, that's the directions there. It's really not that complicated. Ah, there we go. CPU fan speed ignored. It does mention it there in the instructions. So that's an unboxing of this Arctic Alpine M1 CPU cooler. I'll be looking at it at a later date. Unfortunately, I'm not looking at it at the moment because I'm putting it in my NAS and that runs 24-7. I'm not scheduling a power outage on it right now because I am doing some work on my mains, electricity. So I'll be turning that off at some point soon. So I'll just coincide that with uh, changing the CPU cooler. So thanks for watching. See you all later.